Who here is scared of earthquakes? Yeah. I love that some people don't raise their hands. Like, no. Not at all. Really? Some people aren't scared of earthquakes? Well, listen to this. Maybe you will be. Experts predict that a 5.0 earthquake will happen in LA sometime in the next three years. <laughs> How y'all feeling now, the people that? <laughs> the good news is uh, there's only a 99.9% .9 chance of that happening. So <laughs> it's not for sure. That is scary to me when you hear something like that. I mean, some people won't even move to LA because they're scared of earthquakes, but I think, I love living here. I think the advantages of living here are, right? Far outweigh. This nice fall weather we're having. <laughs> but I mean, there are advantages. For instance, there's a 0% chance of having to scrape ice off of our windshield in the morning, right? I don't have to do that. Of course, we don't have water to make ice, but that's... <laughs> also, there's a 43% chance of going to a restaurant and sitting next to George Clooney. That could happen here. Yeah. More so when he was single, but whatever. <laughs> it's good to be prepared. I did some research. I used to think that the safest place to be during an earthquake was under a doorway, which is, I, I think we all were told that. Nope. The American Red Cross says you're not supposed to stand in a doorway anymore, which is bad news for Walmart greeters and hookers. So, <laughs> no, they say that you're supposed to drop, cover, and hold on to, I don't know what to what, but you're supposed to find a sturdy piece of furniture and, and uh, get under it and, uh, with your, and hold your head in your arms and scream, which, <laughs> I added that last part, but I think that's going to happen. <laughs> it's good to have supplies in case of an emergency. You should have, uh, you know, if you have suggestions, you, you should ask your neighbor what they have. Like, say, what do you keep in your emergency kit? And then ask them where they keep it, and then you go get that. <laughs> no, it's good to store things. Like, you, ha you should have water, obviously, and food, and food for your pets. Don't forget, you have to have food for your pets. And what I do, uh, in addition to that, I always keep a, um, like a bottle filled with uh, vermouth and um, <laughs> olives and gin. So after the earthquake, it's perfectly shaken. It's because it's, uh, you're going to want that right then. Last year, there was a 4.4 earthquake here in Los Angeles. It happened around 6.30 in the morning, and there was a local news station that was live at the time. We've shown this before, but it's worth another look. Ginger, thank you. Coming up, more problems for a troubled Earthquake. Yep, We're we having an earthquake. earthquake. Okay, it appears to have stopped. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump right now to Look the our cameras yeah. <laughs> they did what they were supposed to do. Oh. Oh, they were right to do that. I think all of us would have done that. Again, there's only a 99.9% .9 chance of this happening, so let's not think about it right now. Right now, there's a 100% chance that I'm going to dance.